in algebra one and algebra two, and even in this precalculus, is for you guys to understand that when I have something multiplied by something else equal to 0, I can apply the zero product property. So I can simply say cotangent of theta equals 0, and then 2 sine of theta plus 1 equals 0. Yes? OK? Cotangent of theta, I can think of that as saying, all right, well, that is really the same thing as tangent of theta, 1 over 0. So I'm really looking for when is the tangent undefined? Right? What angles makes tangent undefined? So we look at, go back to our unit circle and we say, all right, well, let's see. Tangent means that'd be 1 over 0. So wouldn't you guys agree? Sorry. Wouldn't you guys agree y over x is 1 over 0 here? Wouldn't you guys agree over here? 0 comma negative 1, that's undefined too. So those two angles are pi over 2 and 3 pi halves. Now again, real quick question, why can't I do negative pi halves? Not in the zip. Good job. Thank you. Then this one, we just do a little math here, and we say, oh my god, Mr. McGillan, that was the exact same one you just did, right? So I'm starting to remember these answers, and I got this one. With practice, you can start doing these really quickly, right? That's the same answers I did over there, right? So once you start doing practice and practice and practice on these, you're like, oh, I'm starting getting the same answers. Like, this is going faster and faster for me. Yes, question. So theta, sine of theta equals negative 1 half. That's the same question I really answered over there. So I just wrote the answers. I'm not going to re-explain how to get those again. Right? It's the same answers. And pi halves and 3 pi over 2 are 0, 1. That's for tangent, when tangent's undefined. Is tangent when it's y over 0. Uh -huh. y over 0. 1 over 0. Okay. Or negative 1 over 0. It doesn't matter. It's undefined. Okay. Yes. Sorry, Matty. Any other questions, though? All right. Got two more. 